It is snowing. This is great. We get a little bit of snow like today and it's a ripper day. Hike up was fantastic, beautiful, nice open glady fields. Matt, do you want it to come to your right or to your left? Should make for faster turns and and it seems like there's plenty of lines and space here, so we should all have a good time. On this week's episode, we decided to get into the backcountry of Vermont. Uh, we got the opportunity to check out a lot of really cool zones in the past week and see what New England backcountry skiing is all about. So first up on the list, we decided to check out Nebraska Notch, which is actually only five minutes away from our house in Stowe. Uh, we weren't really sure what to expect on this first tour, but it turned out that the skiing was awesome. There were so many great lines to pick uh, just from the Catamount Trail, and we had a blast. Second day of touring, we partnered with Rasta and the Catamount Association. Uh, they ended up taking us out, guiding us through the Brandon Gap area, which is about an hour and 15 minutes south of our base of operation in Stowe. My name is Matt Williams. I'm the executive director of the Catamount Trail Association. So we're a um, statewide nonprofit in Vermont uh, focused on backcountry skiing and backcountry ski advocacy. We steward the Catamount Trail, which is a 300 mile long backcountry ski trail running the length of the state. It's the longest backcountry ski trail in, the, in North America. Hey, I'm Drew Pollock Bruce. I work for the SC Group. We're a, a recreation planning consulting firm. So I'm really lucky to have my job be uh, spending time out in the woods and uh, helping to plan for recreational activities like backcountry skiing, mountain biking, hiking. So we've been working up here at Brandon Gap with uh, the Catamount Trail Association, Rasta, and the US Forest Service to do trail counting on the backcountry ski zones over the past three years. So we've been able to witness and observe um, how many people are using these zones uh, every day. Um, and so uh, working with them to uh, understand the patterns of use, how it correlates with snowfall, and then with economic impact in the local communities. Um, so we can understand uh, the best way to leverage these assets uh, to, to benefit all the local towns that surround. All right, so we just made it to the top of Brandon Gap in the no-name backcountry area. Uh, this is a little bit different of a skin. Um, you kind of get out of the car and immediately go uphill, which is kind of nice because there's no long skin in to where you have to start going uphill. Um, so it only took us about an hour to get up here, and I think we're going to get a couple laps in today. zone is an amazing uh, backcountry ski zone. It's the first of its kind here on the National Forest. It's super accessible, super easy uh, to get up to and to enjoy. Um, made available by the Forest Service, by the Catamount Trail, by the Rasta group that's working to help maintain and keep the trailheads open, to keep the trees nice for us to ski. Um, we get a little bit of snow like today and it's a ripper day.
our chapters around the state were working uh, to manage a whole bunch of backcountry ski zones of which these these glades we're at today, Brandon Gap was the first. Um, and uh, so, you know, backcountry skiing as, as an activity has been around for a long time in Vermont, this idea that we can manage for it as a use and, and create really great skiing experiences um, for, for uh, skiers and riders that um, are also integrated into forest management plans and ecologically sustainable and low impact for uh, plant and wildlife communities is, um, you know, it's sort of a new thing. These, these glades are, Three years old now, and uh, since since then we've uh, we've added terrain up in the Northeast Kingdom and down in southern Vermont at Dutch Hill. We just had a chapter in the Mad River Valley come on board, and up in uh, Montgomery around Jay Peak as well. So uh, it's a program we're really excited about, and and uh, it's great to see see that growth. Great, so if you, if you see some of this footage and you think this skiing looks awesome, we'd love for you to become a member of the Catamount Trail Association in Rasta. Go to catamounttrail.org, sign up to become a member. Check Rasta as your chapter affiliation and um, you'll be supporting statewide advocacy efforts for backcountry skiing and the great work happening here in, uh, in Brandon and Rochester. <laughs>